Oh, well, 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 look who decided to come back for vlog two. <laughs> For those of you that know me, my name is Vasti, and if you don't know me, my name is still Vasti. Um, today we're going to do a little bit of a story time slash don't get scammed video. And I don't want it to be like a drama, chisme type of vlog. <sighs> Every time I come in here, allergies. Um, I don't want it to be like a drama or talking bad about anybody or any other vendor or anybody out there and their business. But I am going to share a couple of stories of how I got scammed and how maybe you can avoid getting scammed. Two different vendors, one in Mexico, one in China. So let's go ahead and start. And then after I'm done um, with my story time, I will also be sharing this uh, promo that we're doing for my business, Chica Botana, X-I-C-A-B-O-T-A-N-A, -A, where uh, we're giving away a free goodie bag for every order in December while supplies last. So I'll be showing you guys what's in the goodie bag as soon as we're done. So just hold the phone, grab some popcorn, grab your tea, grab a drink, grab a glass of wine, whatever gets you by, because I got some story time. And it's good. Okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to try to do my best in explaining what happened first with the Mexico incident without mentioning her name. So we're just going to name her Mindy. So even though I wanted to work with a United States vendor or manufacturer, it was just way out of my price range for a um, startup business. So my coworker suggested a person who sews for her family member all the time, um, their seamstress, their um, fashion designer, um, who would make all their stuff, Mindy. So um, I thought, okay, let's try Mindy out, right? I contacted Mindy through um, Facebook, her page, and we just got back and forth. She was like, oh yes, yes, I know this person. Um, what do you need? I told her what I wanted. I had four different swimsuits in mind. I um, told her what colors. I told her what fabrics. And then um, she was like, okay. Now, she doesn't live in the United States. She lives in Ensenada, Mexico, which is probably about, forgive me if I'm wrong, but about two hours down the border, south of the border. And I'm about 30 something minutes out from the border. So it's going to be a bit of a drive because a close co-worker of mine um his family member knows her that um i just had this sort of trust with this person so we ended up driving down to ensenada one day and who did i go with the first time the first time i went down to ensenada to meet her i had created tech packs for her if you don't know what a tech pack is it's like the rundown okay give me a rundown I got her the rundown. So a tech pack is pretty much tells the vendor or the manufacturer what you want, what it's called, what collection is from, your business, uh, what sizes, what are the measurements, um, what colors, where's the stitching, um, does it have any type of add-ons, is there zippers, is there any buckles, is there anything else that you're adding onto the garment? It's pretty much like a blueprint I guess that's a better word for it um for a garment so you have blueprints for a house and how it's going to be built where the windows go and everything all the colors and everything well that's what a tech bag is and typically that's a professional way to provide um the garment or to present it to the vendor so that they give you exactly what you need you're not just going to say hey i want a yellow bikini because that can be anything you're gonna tell them i want a triangle top and i want it to be six inches wide for the small and i want it to have uh you know a little gold buckle here and stuff so that's what i provided and it took me so long so long to create tech packs because i wanted it to be professional i wanted it to be legitimate and mindy our manufacturer uh had her own store and um it looks very nice and um, her uh, page looks nice. She has a decent amount of followers and I she's done some runway shows, I think, with her garments. So I figured um, I have to give her a professional uh, request, right, for my for my items. So I did that. 
my brother-in-law had some business to do in Mexico. So he offered to drive me down to her store in Ensenada and um, meet up with her, hand her everything. Um, I had my fabrics with me. I had the tech packs with me. I had um, swatches of the fabric attached to different pictures of the garments that I had designed and drawn myself. And I had money because she had said there was a deposit, but she was only going to do like 20 pieces of each suit, which was fine with me because I'm starting out. So I thought that's perfect. Then I'll get to see what people like. And if something sells out, then I'll just have her make it again, you know, produce it again. So, um, I'm in communication with her through WhatsApp. I tell her, Hey, I'm going to come. I'm going to be here at this time. I'm going to hitch a ride with my brother-in-law. Um, I can only be there from this time to this time because he has other business to do in Mexico and he can't, you know, I can't be after a certain time, which his business was maybe like two hours down west or a different direction. It was a different city in Mexico. So she knows this. We drive down there and I'm messaging her. It's like 10 a.m. and she's like, no, can you come closer to two or something? And I was like, um, no, actually, I have to be on the road at two because it's a Saturday. Not a lot of businesses stay open too late and I have to be in another city before 4 p.m. So um, I was like, no, I'm sorry. It has to be sooner and sooner than that. Like we had already established before. And then um, she pretty much says, oh, I haven't eaten yet. My child hasn't eaten yet so we're just getting things ready and i said okay that's fine get get your stuff ready we'll go have breakfast and then we'll like touch base again so we're down in ensenada we have breakfast and we're pretty much just driving around waiting on her so i'm messaging her and she's like <clears throat> not responding and then um just messaging her back like hey we're outside the store are you almost here um she's like no i'm not there um can you meet me instead by my house she gave me directions coordinates to another location mind you this was already like 11 30. so i go to the other location which was like a auto auto store um or auto parts kind of like a auto zone <laughs> so we're waiting out there and then i'm texting her i'm calling her i'm doing everything i can and then there's no response from her at all so at this time we're like trying to kill time so we're driving around in Sanada. we're going to pastry shops we're getting desserts here and there we're picking up candy we're just trying to think of what else can we do while we're here while we're waiting for this lady so i'm here from her almost like two hours go by and i still haven't heard from her so then finally she texts me like oh my phone had died and i have some screenshots of our conversation they're all in spanish but she's like my phone died and honestly i'm sorry blah 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 can you meet me back at the store i'm like rushing over there so i'm like okay mindy um we go back to the store she <clears throat> texts me that she's on her way and it's already like 2 p.m <laughs> she had her way so we were there waiting for her uh four hours later and she shows up so I get out of the car, we go into the store, and then she comes in um, completely high, like high. Again, nothing against anybody that smokes or gets high, but she had me waiting for four hours, and then she comes in high. She uh, also smelled like cigarettes, and she was completely like, um, I, don't, I don't know how to say it, like jittery, like, you know? And I was like, okay, so I go over everything with her I'm, I'm so like super nice like i never complained but she didn't apologize like she did not say sorry she did not say anything like that she just rushed in and that's it so i gave her my tech packs i had already emailed her i um gave her the drawings i gave her the samples i gave her all of my fabric and then i gave her the deposit which was probably around a hundred something dollars honestly i wish i remembered this was like again over a year and a half ago so I gave her the money and then I left in good faith that this was somebody that my close friend, close coworker knows. So I left and then as soon as we left, my brother-in-law is like, did you get a receipt? And I was like, oh shoot, 
I should have got a receipt, but I didn't. And I was like, it's fine. We know her, you know, she knows that I know her people, so it's going to be fine. So we left. We rushed down to the city where, you know, he had to do his appointment and they closed or the doctor had left and they no longer were able to do the x-ray or whatever they needed to do. So I felt so bad that he couldn't get what he needed to get done. So after that, we just came back home. So she tells me within a week, I'm going to have them ready. Just see, they're going to be perfect. They're going to look so good. And I'm like, yes, nice. Because I had seen that she had done some swimwear. And even in her store, I saw some swimwear. swimwear um, and it looked nice. So I, I was very confident that she could get it done right. So I didn't talk to her at all until maybe a week and a half had passed. And my coworker the one that had referred me to her says hey um i'm thinking of going down to ensenada so if you want to go we can go and then you can pick up your samples so i thought whoa really you would do that but she's somebody that's always in ensenada um she has family there she has relatives that are buried there she goes there all the time to just hang out to have fun to pick up some cheese like she loves ensenada she knows her way around so i thought if you're already going down there then i'll go with you so Two weeks this is two weeks after i had seen mindy for the first time and met her and gave her my deposit and after she had told me that she was going to be done within a week right so the whole time i'm talking to her and i'm like hey i think i'm, I'm gonna go this saturday and i think it was like a thursday or wednesday when i texted her i said i'm gonna be going down there this saturday so um i hope everything is okay she's like yeah yeah i already had this cut i just need to finish two more and they're gonna be so good it's gonna look so nice I'm like, okay, good, cool. So if you're almost done and I'm not going to be there till Saturday, then we should be okay. So we head on down there. I meet my coworker at her house and then we drive off together. So then we cross the border. We're already in Mexico. We're driving down and then maybe 20 minutes into our drive, Mindy texts me, hey, maybe it's better that you come another day. <laughs> I know. Um... I'm like, Mindy, I'm not around the corner. I'm not like five minutes away. And it's not like I can drive down here all the time. I didn't say that, but I was like, I'm already on my way. So I'll just meet you wherever you need to be. You know, if, you, if I have to go to your house, I'll go to your house. If I have to go to the store, I'll go to the store. If you're somewhere else, you got plans, then I'll go somewhere else to pick them up. But she goes, oh no, the lady, the lady hasn't responded back to me. And I'm like, what lady? You're the lady. <laughs> so what lady are you talking about? She's like, oh, this lady that helps me. So she has them and she hasn't responded to me. So I can't get a hold of her. And I'm like, excuse me. I, I dropped everything off with you. You are the seamstress. You're the manufacturer. You said you were doing them. You said you were almost done with them. What happened? Who's this lady? So then she goes, no, this lady, um, she hasn't responded to me. I drove by her house. She's not there. She has the suits with her. So I thought, okay, well, send me the lady's information. I'll go to her house and pick them up. So she goes, really? You will do that? Very, like, surprised. And I said, yeah, I'll drive to her house. Like, we're going down here. Like, we're already an hour in. Uh, you know, we're almost there. We're halfway there. So um, just send me her information. So she sends me the lady's information. And then she's still telling me, oh, I still haven't had a, I, I'm sorry, I still haven't got a hold of her. I don't know if she's going to be home. So she sends me her phone number and then I call this number, but nobody answers. This whole time, though, we, we arrived to Ensenada. My friend is running her, you know, errands because um, she went down, to, down there to see a couple of family members. She went and took flowers to her family members, like at the cemetery, we went to go eat. We were just driving around, having her do her thing while we're waiting for um, Mindy. So the whole time I'm like trying to get a hold of her, like, hey, this lady is not answering. Um, can you get them from her house? And then I'll go get them from you. Or can you call her and um, see what's going on with my stuff? And then um, the whole time she's like, oh, no, I can't get a hold of her. I keep calling her. I'm getting mad and whatnot. So um, 
we had arrived there very very early that morning and um, we had gone and seen three of my um, co-workers family members we went to buy flowers we went to the cemetery we went to eat and we were still driving around we went to get a coffee and we're still driving around back and forth so the whole time in between things that my friend was doing i was like calling her like waiting in the car i was outside you know i was that one guy on the phone um trying to get a hold of her and trying to solve this and trying to see where we can go so then so then my friend who knows her way around in Tanella, she knows she goes there every other weekend um we're trying to find the address and we can't find it now this girl is like a local pretty much she can't find the address so we're driving around and still i'm texting mindy like hey we can't find the address like my friend is familiar with the area and there's no such thing like we can't find the address so then mindy sends me a text where she's like oh i've had it i'm so upset that she's not answering this is unacceptable blah 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 she's the victim now so she's like i'm gonna go find her i'm gonna go pick them up from her and then i'll take them to you so i said fine let's do that so i tell her we're gonna be at this cafe meet us here and bring the stuff right so we go to the cafe where we are literally there for like an hour and then i got her messages that she was there um although it's a small place with parking lots right next to the windows where we were by so i didn't really see her car or see her or anybody trying to look for anyone um but she said she was there she sent me text that she was gonna go back to the store because she had to close up anyway run around mindy from two weeks ago gave us run around mindy and finally um, i get a hold of her again this is, we're already like 4 p.m guys like we're already done with our day you know we're ready to clock out and hit that traffic hour hit that rush hour and go home to our families you know so then mindy finally comes to the cafe she walks in again hella high which again no shame no disrespect but you're late and this is a professional uh meeting because i am a client and you are my manufacturer and she shows up mind you i forgot to mention that and i have screenshots and one of her messages that she was sending me was that the reason she had had another person do the bikinis for me was because she had done like her 62 twos for some type of valet school function that was going on and because the day before was her birthday i'm sorry i'm sorry huh what does that have to do with you doing what you said you were gonna do and I said, if you didn't have time, you should have said, I don't have time. I told you I was coming. You know, I don't live close by. Like, why didn't you tell me then and there instead of telling me that you were just about done, that you had 60 other tutus, that you had a large order and that I should wait another week or two. I could have done that, but she did not So she walks in and then all of a sudden, brunette Mindy was a blonde Mindy. Hmm. So I thought, girl, you just took my money and you got blonde. Let me see the suits. So guys, like for part two. Just kidding. She brings me this the bikinis and I will show you what she gives me. I will show you what she gave me. Okay. This is literally like 30 minutes later and I can't catch my breath. I thought I knew where those botched bikinis were, but I can't find them anywhere. Somebody must not want me to show you. And again, I'm not trying to bash her or her business. I truly wish her the best. But if you didn't know this about me, I can sew. <clears throat> I'm not like a professional or like the greatest, but I can sew and I can make swimwear. And everybody was telling me, why didn't you just do it yourself? But I wanted this to look professional. I wanted it to look legitimate, perfect, 
coming from somebody that does this all the time and even puts on runway shows. What she presented to me was what I would say amateur hour. It was your class project for your fashion design class. Um, it was so disappointing. It wasn't even, um, the waistlines were like this big. My friend was with me, right? When she showed us all this stuff. And I was like, Mindy, I'm not a professional and I could have done a hundred times better than this and she's like oh i'm so sorry i could have done way better i promise you i'm gonna do it and i said okay where's the rest of my fabric she's like oh i don't have it and now this is nylon spandex that i had ordered colors that aren't available at joann's or the local fabric store that closed down by my house this is fabric that i ordered this, these are different colors like i didn't just want the regular generic generic red or black that they have at the store like i wanted the specific nylon spandex blend and i wanted the colors and i wanted the shine and i what she presented to me was so unprofessional and she knew it she was embarrassed she couldn't even make eye contact she knew what she had done and i was supposed to give her an additional like 80 dollars or something like that she was like no don't pay me the rest i'm sorry i'm gonna make it up to you i'm gonna redo them and i'm gonna send them to you i'll ship them i have a cousin somewhere here she's gonna help me and i'm gonna ship everything to you so i was like okay bye so my friend and i laughed in disbelief like the whole way home i'm like we're laughing but it's like how dare you like you give me the run around the first time you give me the run around the second time like what it looked like the suits she presented to me looked like she was probably on the phone with me the whole time and sewing like within like a few hours like she just put everything together just to have something to prepare to me like this other lady never existed pretty much she was just buying time and that's what i felt like <clears throat> A few weeks later, I messaged her and I was like, hey, where's the stuff? Hey, where's the stuff? Nothing. What's up? Her, hey, I haven't heard from you. Um, do you have the stuff? Nothing. I go on her Facebook page. Hey, you know, it's me. Do you have anything ready? Do you have an update for me? Nothing. I let it go. A few months later, I come across her page and I was like, I'm going to go on her public um, store Facebook profile and I'm going to say, hey, like on the comments that everybody can read, I was like, I'm gonna say, hey, where's my stuff? I've been waiting for over two months and I haven't heard from you. I already paid you my half. You know, I would have been so petty. But before I even looked her up, I squashed it. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. She's a mom, she's young, she's running her business. And was it right that what she did? No, it wasn't. Was it professional? No. But you know what? I'm going to let it go. And I sincerely wish her the best in her business. I don't wish anything bad to happen to her. I don't want to give her any bad press. Um, I'm just sharing you guys the story. Number one, it was a referral of somebody that knew somebody. Number two, I didn't get a receipt. Number three, the communication differences there. Um... You know, our, our first meeting, really that first impression was horrible. So I really should have got the point there when she made us run around that maybe I shouldn't have been doing business. Maybe I shouldn't have handed over, over hundreds of dollars and another like hundreds of dollars worth of fabric. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe I should have looked a little uh, more into um, who this person was. I learned my lesson. Um, I'm gonna try my best to find those suits so I can show you. I can't believe I misplaced them. I kept them to teach myself a lesson and to remind me, <laughs> um, you know, to be smarter with my um, business choices. Um, but yeah, that was my story about the first time I got scammed um, from my manufacturer in Mexico. I wanted to share with you guys our promotion for Chica Botana. Again, it's I C A B O T A N A. And uh, we're doing a free goodie bag with every order in December while supplies last. Now, every a goodie bag is different, and I'm going to go quick. But um, they're all going to have a pair of socks. Fancy socks, I call them. I have the Mona Lisa too, but I don't have it on me right now. I have the Statue of Liberty. I have Michelangelo's David covering it because 
I don't know, there might be kids here. Um, and then I have a few scrunchies. I have different colors. Super cute. It has like a little cheetah velvet print on it. So cute, stretchy. Um, I have the beige. I have a yellowish mustard color. And then I have a very like dusty pink. So cute. And then I also have these um, anklets. One of them has a butterfly. Sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, uh. One of them has a butterfly. And then the other one has a heart with an X. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys. I'm wearing it now. It has a little X for Chica heart anklet. I've been wearing it for over two weeks and I've showered with it and it hasn't turned green. So that's a good sign, right? Um, again, every order in December while supplies last is gonna get a little goodie bag. Just gonna look like this with your socks inside. Um, you don't have to keep it. You can give it away. It's a cute stocking stuffer or you can wear it. I love wearing socks um, when I hike or to sleep or in the house. Like I love socks and these are like the perfect length. Um, I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Let's just, have good vibes. Have a good weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Help me grow. Help me make more videos like this. And um, hit the bell so that you know when I post another video. And thank you again. Have a great day. Stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.